Good eye, mate. <sighs> In this video, I'm going to solve all of your problems to do with wearing hats. You see, normally when you wear a hat, you want it to, to keep you from the sun, right? So when you wear a hat, you want the brim of the hat to shield you from the light of the sun. However, what about when you're wearing the hat like this, but the sun is coming in from this angle? You have to move your hat that way. Or maybe that way. I don't know. Some people wear hats which go all the way around their head like that. If you want to look like an idiot, go ahead. However, instead, what I'm gonna do is make something that looks cool, make something that's multifunctional, make something that's actually useful. I'm gonna make a hat which protects you from the sun by moving the brim around to shield you from it. Now, this idea, for many of you, uh, will be known as a complete rip-off. Um, William Osmond, whose channel I will link in the description, uh, is an incredible YouTuber. I've been watching him for years. He makes stuff, and he's really cool. Uh, and he made a video a few years ago where he made the exact same thing. I haven't watched that video, but yesterday my friend sent me a text saying, you should make this. I said, yeah, sure. So, here we are. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is get this hat. I'm gonna cut the brim off. I'm gonna screw some wood into it here. I'm gonna attach that wood to a motor. I'm gonna attach that motor to the top of the hat. I'm gonna do some really, really cool science stuff, which I worked out last night at about two in the morning, um, to do with how I can position these photoresistors. So resistors, resistors whose resistance varies with sunlight. Uh, and I'm gonna put them in a cool way it's not that cool, actually. And, um, yeah. So I've cut off the brim, as you can see, and I think it looks quite good. Um, so what's gonna happen is this is the brim, and I'm gonna attach a piece of wood to it, like bam and I'm going to attach that piece of wood to a motor like bam and that's just going to turn it around to shield you from the sun so it's constantly going to be in the direction of most sunlight what does that mean I don't know I've come up with that on the spot because that's what I do I am so tired um yeah uh like comment and subscribe because that would mean a lot to me like comment subscribe annihilate the subscribe button destroy that subscribe i don't know you may be wondering why i'm sitting weirdly that's because i'm not sitting i'm squatting because i'm a squatter but when i move down ta-da look how good it is so what's on pretty much is i've glue gun the motor to the hat that's it. Right, I've cut the wood, I've put the wood on the hat, so now all I've got to do is get another piece of wood, attach that piece of wood to this piece of wood, attach that piece of wood to the motor, and we've built it. Turns out that the brim is heavy, the wood is even heavier, and the screws aren't adding, aren't helping with that weight. So basically it was too heavy, too front heavy, so the whole thing was tipping forwards and it wasn't really working. So what I'm gonna do instead is, because I basically destroyed the brim trying to fix it, I'm gonna make a new brim out of cardboard, so it should be really ultra light. I'm gonna make a connector, instead of out of wood and wood, which is really heavy, I'm probably gonna make it out of a very thin strip of metal, uh, which should be a lot lighter. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. Ahoy there. 
Look at how good this works. So the brim is made out of cardboard uh, with a bit of tape on and the connector is also made out of cardboard uh, and that makes it really light. Obviously there's a problem that when I, if I'm, if I'm in a rave dancing and all that, it will just be bobbing up and down, <laughs> which is quite cute. But um, yeah, let's see how well it works. So basically up here is the motor and I can turn it and let's see if it's a smooth motion or not. So say the sun is over here and it's coming into my face like that and I want it to block it, it moves around. Let's say it's over here and I wanted to block it there. It moves there. And it does quite a good job, as you can see, of stopping things getting through. Obviously there's this big gap, but um, I mean, not everything can be perfect. So yeah, now I'm gonna get onto the cool electronics part because the bit that's the bit I'm actually good at. There's also a slight problem, which is that this sort of tips sideways. You, do you see, it sort of is at that angle, uh, which I really just realized. And my answer to that is, like I said a few seconds ago, not everything is perfect. We're back here with the whiteboard. Right, we're here with the whiteboard and we're going to discuss photoresistors. What are photoresistors? A photoresistor, spelt photoresistor, is a resistor that detects sunlight and light intensity. So with the Arduino, it takes a value between 0 and 1023 for, I can't remember which one. Um, and pretty much a photoresistor's resistance varies with light intensity. What does that mean? Well, when it's bright, the resistance is low. When it's dark, the resistance is high. Easy stuff. So what does that mean and why is that useful for the hat monstrosity. Well, I'm getting there. So we've got the hat like that, and we've got the resistor there and the resistor there. Let's say the brim would normally be sticking out there. Um, so the hat would normally be this way. Um, and what I want to do is move it in a 180 degree range of angles. If the sun is here, so that's the sun, is there, I want the hat to be facing towards the sun to shine the light. Now, the easy method would be to say, because the resistance uh, decreases with brightness increasing, just take the lower resistor. So whichever resistance is putting out a lower value, take that. And that's what I'm gonna do. I just had lunch and a coffee, and now I am energized and ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is get the Arduino, stick it on the hat, uh, get everything wired up, get it all coded. It's currently one o'clock. I wanna have this all made by two o'clock. Then I'm gonna have it all uh, coded by three o'clock, filmed by four o'clock, and uploaded to YouTube by seven o'clock. So here we go. Before I stick the Arduino on, I just wanna show you what I did. Basically, it wasn't working, because every time I moved this, it was getting, like, if I move this sideways, you see this? It was jamming into there and not getting it working. So what I did was be really smart, which is unusual. Um, I cut off a piece of metal, stuck a piece of metal here, because that's not gonna bend. So it, stucks, it sticks out, then attached the cardboard with an extension. So now basically it just sticks above this and goes round it over it really rather than through it. So it means that this lang hangs lower down, which is all right. Um, it still covers my eyes actually better than it did before. Uh, but now it, it can move really smoothly all the way around everything without getting in touch with anything. So that's a big, a big brain idea. Put my camera on with flash because right now it's pretty horrible weather outside. So I'm going to be the sun by using my torch flashlight. I've got the code over here, and what basically what it's doing is it's reading the resistor, resistance of the right resistor and the resistance of the left resistor, and what well, sort of the values of the voltage across them that the Arduino is reading, and it is saying whichever one is uh, lower, uh, turn to that side, because obviously the brightness must be greater. So it does work when I show this. So let's go above. We've got this, so that it, Yeah, that's what I mean by working. What happens is when it, there's bright, when the sun is going into this one, so when it does this, it covers it. But you can see also that this covers the resistor, and then it sort of just messes around trying because it, it detects that there's light there, but then it covers the resistor, so there's no light there, so it moves out the way. Then there's light again, and it moves there, and it covers it again. So 
I mean, the thing looks like looks like it's going to electrocute me. Look at all the wires on the back of it, um, and it probably will electrocute me. So, yeah. Uh, but this happens. Look, I'm going to cover this one. So let's say it's dark on this side, which means that the sun is on that on that side. Boom. There we go. See? I can't look. It's amazing. And then let's say that it's now let's say that it's now light on the other side. So I'm in my room now. We've got the sun, which is my lamp, uh, and we're going to turn it on. Turn it on uh, now. There we go. So I'm facing the, the sun, and it covers my eyes. I turn to the side, and it did then. There we go. I mean, if this isn't working, I don't know what is. And then that works. Look at that. Sharp. Not really, no. Um, so, how did it feel? First of all, you can you can let go. It will stay on. Why is it moving on my head? Do you feel safe? Uh, I guess with these glasses on. Without the glasses, though, would you be safe? No. But I mean, it's meant to protect you from light. So, do you think it's doing a good job of that? Uh. So, say there was the sun out and it was blinding you. This would move to to cover it. What do you think? How's it doing? Science and magic. It would be taking my eye out. Right yeah, now. That, that's part of the fun. <laughs> okay, <I'll be> good. <laughs> this project is, for want of a better word, a mistake. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Goodbye. We say goodbye.